Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Crystal O, and today we're going to be talking, okay? Like this is literally a sit down, chit chat, let's talk kind of video. I just felt like really just moved to make this video because I thought, you know, there are a lot of people out there who are maybe seeking God for something or praying on something or wanting to hear some form of encouragement. So maybe this might be encouragement for you. Maybe this might give you some sense of feeling or just knowing that God sees you, hears you, loves you, and wants to meet with you through this little girl right here, Crystal, that is sharing uh, for you to listen to. So let's go ahead and jump into it. This is not planned. Literally, sis just got home from work, threw this turban on, and was like, we finna make this video. Because I feel like there's so much to learn from other people's journeys and stories, especially if they're willing to share. So I am willing to share most of my journey, of course, in the times that are appropriate, but I am willing to share most of my journey with my subscribers. So that is why I am here and willing to make this video. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to see you a part of the C-Squad. And if you are already part of the C-Squad, what is up? You know how we do it here. We be real, real. We be real honest. We love the Lord. We love fashion. We love a beat face or whatever. We love to be cute. But anyways, let me jump into this video and stop, you know, stop with the words. So, all right. So I guess, honestly, the first thing that I would touch on is one day, like a few months. Oop, uh-oh. That's not cute. Let's tuck that back in. Let's try this again from the beginning. Alright, so one day, a few months ago, I was driving from one place to another, um, from work to a certain meeting that I was supposed to be going to, and I was really burdened about this thing that wasn't happening in my life, or that I felt I had no control over, and I just felt the Lord, like, whisper, like, the Holy Spirit literally whisper the words, woman of faith, and I'm just like... That's not, that's not me right now, is it? Like, I was like, that's just not me. And the Holy Spirit was just trying to put me in check, like, women of faith. Like, is that not what you are, almost? And I was just like, okay, like, but why you had to do me like that? Like, why you had to come at me like that? But it wasn't, like, aggressive or anything. It was just, like, this subtle reminder, like, women of faith. And then it got me thinking, like, oh, my gosh, like, I want to be a woman of faith. Like, I want to be a woman who stands on the truth of God unwavering. I want to be a woman who stands on what God says. I want to be a woman who trusts in God before I trust in my circumstances or let my emotions be led by what's currently going on. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like I want to be remembered and known as a woman of faith. And honestly, y'all, I don't believe this word was just for me. I don't believe that God just put that like sentence into my mind and spoke that into me for no reason. I think that that was a message that he wanted to also share with you guys as well watching. So women of faith, women, women, you know, all of them. But women and women of faith, this is a time y'all to rise up and say, no, we will not let our insecurities rule us. We will not let our past dictate our future. We will not allow our emotions to lead us and lead us astray. We will not allow ourselves to see God through the lens of our circumstances, but instead we are going to choose to see our circumstances through the lens of God and who God is. And I believe that in this place, God has some sweet, amazing things for us. God has some sweet, just um, a knowing and a deepness and a richness of who he is in us. So that is who we are going to strive to be and become, y'all. Women of faith, of course, it is a journey. I am not perfect. I am not like 100% thousand, you know, women of faith out here. Like every day I fight and I take strides to be a woman of faith. When I see my mind veering off, when I see my mind funneling down this spiral um, downwards, I'm like, no, you are a woman of faith. And the scripture that backs this, y'all, that I felt the Lord gave me closer to the new year, I'm going to link it in my description bar below and probably have it pop up somewhere here, but it was a place in the Bible where Jesus was healing um, a blind man. And basically he asked the man before he did it, he said, do you believe that I can do this? And the blind man says, yes, I do. And then Jesus then said, let it be done to you according to your faith. So y'all, 
that stirred me up to really just have big faith. Live boldly, live strongly as a woman of faith and you won't always feel like you're filled with faith but press on, press in. And I promise you y'all, even a mustard seed can plant just a massive tree. So that mustard seed of faith, even if that's all you have now, bring it. We're all welcome, okay? Whether you have baby faith, big faith, giant faith, whatever, bring it and watch what God will do with it. So that is the first thing that I learned that has really driven a lot of my life lately. And of course, I have to walk out in it daily and remind myself that this is who I am and this is who God has called us all to be, essentially. So that is the first one. The second one is that the Lord has been teaching me what like friendship means. I feel like I have been in really weird spaces all my life in terms of like, I'm a very extroverted person, so like everyone's my friend, right? Because you're extroverted and everyone like knows you and you know of them and all this stuff. And I just feel like God has been taking me down this journey of really understanding what friendship is. And it really is beginning with God, the person of Jesus. Like Jesus, teach me how to be a better friend. Jesus, what does a friend look like? Jesus, you're my friend. Jesus, I wanna tell you these things. Jesus, I'm hurt. I wanna lay this out on you because you're a good, good father. Yes, but you're also a very good friend. And you're the closest friend I have. You're the best, 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 best friend. So of course I have friends, but I think that I've had to learn like, there's always going to be a void in the place of friendship if God hasn't filled it with being friends with him first. You know what I mean? Like there's always going to be that ache of like, oh my gosh, I wish I had a friend to tell this. Or, oh my gosh, I wish I had friends for this. Like, no, tell Jesus. Jesus is your friend. And that's what I've had to learn, y'all. It has been interesting, but it has been great to like just really remember, like lean on Jesus. Like before you pick up your phone and text that friend, lean on Jesus. Before you ache to have a friend to tell about things that are going wrong in your life, lean on Jesus. And there's actually a book that I'm reading called Friendish that I would recommend to anyone. And I'm going to link that below as well because I have been reading that and I really believe that God has been speaking to me through that book. So I'm gonna leave it below. Okay. All right, so the last thing is that God has been blowing my mind with perspective shift. So I've been praying on this thing, wanting this thing, and like really, really wanting it. You know, we all want something in life. And we're like, oh God, just let it be, let it happen. And it's not happening, it, it didn't happen. So I was like, okay, Lord, you know, this is the grace of God. Like literally, I was just like, this is the grace of God. Instead of throwing a tantrum and like being all bitter and mad at God, you know what I usually do, I was just like, you know what? Hold on. The Lord's word says that God does not withhold any good thing from his children. So if he's withholding it from me, then it is not good for me. Like I trust God enough to withhold something from me because he knows all and he knows best. I can only see a small scope of my life. I can't see ahead of the future. I can't see the bigger picture, but God can. And me trusting in him is basically saying, God, you are a good father. And your word says that you will not withhold anything from your children, any good thing from your children. So if you're not giving it to me, if you're not allowing it, then maybe it's the grace of God. Not even maybe, it is the grace of God that is protecting me. So wherever you are right now, maybe it's that, you know, admission into a program. Maybe it's that relationship. Maybe it's that marriage. Maybe it's that whatever, fill in the blank. Fill in all the blanks, y'all. The grace of God, literally the grace of God is protecting you, whether it be that job or that relationship or that friendship or whatever it could be, like literally the grace of God is protecting you. And it may not feel like it because it's frustrating and you really want it, but literally just leaning on God and saying, you're such a good father that honestly, if you don't think I need it, I don't need it. I'm good, I'm, I, I'm good, you know? So that's really what I've used to like maintain my sanity in this season literally and it's been working you know i think i'm i'm doing pretty good but <laughs> honestly and truly i feel like god has literally been blowing my mind with just little things he's been teaching me on this journey of what we call life and i wanted to share that with you all so i just hope this video was encouraging to you i hope this video 
you know, got you all pumped up to be a woman of faith, to be a woman who stands unwavering on the word of God and on the belief of God and says, I will not shake under pressure. I will not crumble under pressure because that's what we're not going to do. We're not going to crumble under pressure because God is on our side. He is on our side. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here and continue cooking dinner because that's exactly what I was doing before I sat down. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I've been trying to drop a little some some lately. So go ahead and follow me on there if you are not already following me. I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope this video was impactful. I hope this video set mindsets free. Um, and that's my prayer in Jesus' name. So I will see you guys next time in a future video. Bye.